Cuenca to Cajas to Coast. I'm going to take you on a scenic road trip across four ecosystems in one day. Buckle your seatbelt and sit back for a quick drive across Ecuador, from the mountains to the beaches. And you know you're in South America when you see a llama sign. Think we'll see one? Before I show you the landscapes from our road trip together, let's zoom out to tell you a bit about this gem of a country in South America. It's called Republica del Ecuador. And if I turn on the grid lines here, you can see it's the Republic of the Equator. Interesting fact, because of its location at the equator, Ecuador experiences little variation in daylight hours during the course of a year. Both sunrise and sunset occur each day at the two six o'clock hours. Ecuador borders Peru to the south and Colombia in the north. Ecuador is slightly smaller than Nevada, and for my European viewers, it's slightly smaller than the country of Italy. Our scenic road trip begins in the city of Cuenca, nestled in the southern Andes, and then a quick drive up to Cajas National Park. If you haven't seen my adventure vlog from Cajas, I left you an inspirational gift for your heart hidden in the journey. Aren't the Andes beautiful? Hey, there's some llamas. I couldn't get a better shot, that was a flash. Did you know the Andes mountain range is the watershed divisor across all of South America? With every raindrop on the west side flowing quickly to the Pacific, and all these rivers on the east flowing thousands of miles into the Amazon across the entire continent of South America until it reaches the Atlantic Ocean. Amazing. From the Cajas Watershed Pass at 13,671 feet, we follow the raindrops flowing to the Huayas River, which passes through the city of Huayaquil before reaching the Pacific. Dropping 13,000 feet from Cajas to the coast means this is no ordinary road. Crazy switchbacks through hard rock and a landslide took out the entire highway nine months ago with all those rocks completely washing it away. The original road was way up there and they had to completely re-engineer this road all the way down to the riverbed and then switch backing all the way back up to the original highway. Unbelievable amount of work. It took them six months to build this road and they had to do it because this is the only way. There's the original road that we're back at the same elevation. I think the Ecuadorian government and all the workers who made that possible and are still clearing out rock slides they deserve a like on this video for all that amazing work. As we continue dropping elevation thousands and thousands of feet, you can see the ecosystem changes entirely. We drop into the banana belt of Ecuador. The next time you buy a Dole or Chiquita banana, check the label. It's most likely Ecuador, most likely right here. With all the water that surrounds the city, there's no way around Guayaquil. And with the population more than the state of Nevada, over 3 million, it takes a while to get through. So heading north out of Guayaquil, we suddenly find ourselves in a landscape you wouldn't expect. But first, a quick snack. Yes, that is fresh coconut. And it is oh so yummy. This is that landscape. Did you expect that? Just an hour further north and we're in a desolate desert with not a lot growing. But before long, we actually arrive on the coastal towns and things begin to change. Welcome to the Pacific coast of Ecuador. Lots of charming coastal towns as we meander our way north on this highway to a beach town called Montanita. I'm so glad you joined this scenic road trip across Ecuador with me. And I'd love to hear a comment from you what your favorite part was. I plan to stay on the coast at least a few days, so if you'd like to see what lies beyond this walkway here, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video for a whole lot of sunshine.